some weather there, we can tell. Thanks, Ann. Yeah? Yep. Let's get more on the oceans now. This Green Week, the environmentally focused documentary Oceans hit the theaters just in time for the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. The movie uses dazzling cinematography to raise awareness of the aquatic ecosystems and what is threatening them. This captures the spirit, the very essence of the sea. ocean is absolutely magnificent. What else is out there that we don't know about? Cannot wait to see that. And I'm joined now by conservation biologist from Cal Lutheran University, Dr. Reese Halter. And a good morning to you. Good morning, Alex. It's going to be a great movie when people go to see it. What, what do you expect people will learn from oceans? Oh, look, it's a spectacular spectacular movie. Uh, they're going to they're going to learn that the ocean is filled with wonder and there's one piece Alex a half a block long blue whale a 130 ton creature the largest living animal ever on planet earth. It's spectacular. Yeah. What is the state of our oceans race? <laughs> Uh, they're not happy, Alex. I'm sorry to report. We've got two enormous garbage patches in the Atlantic, in the Pacific. As a matter of fact, the United Nations survey shows that there are 46,000 pieces of plastic every square mile, and some of it is 95 feet thick, Alex. Yeah, and there was a, a report from the National Research Council saying that the ocean absorbs about a third of all man-made carbon dioxide. That's not something that we talk about much we talk about global warming but what's the effect there well the effects are the oceans are becoming more acidic and as they acidify their ability to suck co2 out of the uh, air and and keep it under check is reduced and and as that happens of course the earth continues to warm and th th these are all um, not good telltales yeah. Um, Reese, the president has taken criticism for opening up the waters off the U.S. coast for oil drilling. How serious a concern is it environmentally, or are you confident that the technology is there uh, to keep disasters from happening? Of course, notwithstanding this oil rig explosion that we've been dealing with in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, no, look, Alex, we got to live in the 21st century. Going back to 19th century technology to put oil rigs in the ocean, I mean, that's old news. First of all, it's going to take at least five years, maybe 10, before we can get oil to market. We've got to become energy independent. We've got to put our eggs in a variety of baskets. We've got to promote business in America. And we got to get down to doing what we can do. That is using what's between our brain to sort these problems out yeah have you seen oceans you got I have. It? I saw it last. I saw it last night. It is absolutely a must-see for everybody. It's breathtaking. It's spectacular, and it's eye-opening. And that trash is is a real problem. Yeah, and it's family-friendly too, right? Like families watching. If they have little kids, they can take them. Absolutely, and it's it's you know look, Disney just nailed this one. Okay, well, I can't wait to see it, and I thank you for your insights from Cal Lutheran University. Reese Halter, good to see you. Yeah, from the Golden State, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. A high-tech makeover for the $100 bill. Why the